Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. This video is sponsored by Cricut. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to personalize t-shirts using Cricut infusible ink transfer sheets. Now let's begin. Here I have everything that I need for this project. I'll use a Cricut t-shirt that is compatible with infusible ink. This is 100% polyester. I also use Cricut infusible ink transfer sheets, a lean roller, and the 10 by 12 inch easy press. When working with infusible ink sheets, you need to use an easy press and the easy press mat to protect your surface from the heat. For this project, I'll use this paint splash infusible ink transfer sheets. The transfer sheets come inside a plastic roll to protect them from the light and moisture. I already removed the sheet that I will use for this project plus one sheet of butcher paper that also comes included in the package. Save all the remaining pieces back into the original package. Ensure your hands are clean, free from any oils or solvents when handling the material. For this t-shirt, I'll be using this design that I put together in Design Space using images from Cricut Access. I'll share the link to this project on my blog avantimorocha.com. If you follow me on Design Space, you can find it on my share projects. To be able to use it, you need to be subscribed to Cricut Access. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together these kind of projects. I'll activate this hidden layer. Now go to images, insert the image that you like. I'm going to type pause in the search box and I'm going to use this image. As you can see, this image has two layers. Click on well, modify the dimensions, Select these two layers and click on a slice. Delete all the extra pieces. Now you know how easy it is to put together this kind of design. Now I will hide this layer. For this project I'll be using Cricut Explore Air 2 but you could also use Cricut Maker and if you modify the dimensions, you could also use Cricut Joy. Click on Make It. When using infusible ink, you must activate the mirror button. I like to center my design based on the size of material I'll use. I always want to have some extra room, about half inch around the design. For this design, I'll use a 10 by 7 inch piece of material, center the design in this area, click on continue. I have the dial of my Cricut Explore in custom. Now select the material, infusible ink sheets, load the fine point blade and load the mat. I'll cut a piece of 10 by 7 inches that it will work with my design. Save all the remaining pieces back into the original package. Place the sheet of infusible ink with the liner facing down. Load the mat and start the job. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process of cutting this design took 2 minutes. Remove the materials from the mat. Don't forget to cover your mat and put it away. Now I'll remove the extra material from the design. For this I'll use the cracking method. Roll the sheet so the cut lines separate and are more visible. Start removing the material from the corner. 
I removed the extra material, the only thing left is to transfer the design. Before this, make sure that your design is correct and you have removed all the extra materials. Once you transfer the design, it cannot be modified. Now I'm on the Cricut Heat Guide site. Here you will find the settings you need to complete the transfer. I'll select the Easy Press 2. The heat transfer material is infusible ink sheet. And the base material is a t-shirt. For this kind of project, you need to use the Cricut Easy Press mat. Click on Apply. Here I have the settings, preheat for 15 seconds. The temperature is 385 degrees Fahrenheit and the time is 40 seconds. Apply light pressure and remove the vacuum when it is still warm. Now I will set the temperature of my Easy Press to 385 degrees Fahrenheit and the time to 40 seconds. While my Easy Press reaches the desired temperature, I will prepare the t shirt. Here I have a piece of white cardstock, place it inside the t-shirt, this will help with any bleeding. As you can see the t-shirt is underneath the easy press mat. Use the limb roller and remove any debris or fiber from the t-shirt, do not skip this step even tiny debris can create imperfections in the transfer. Because I'm using a v-neck t-shirt, I know where the center is. For experience, I also know that placing the design two inches and a half underneath the neck will work fine when using a Cricut small t-shirt. My easy press has reached the desired temperature. I'll preheat the design for 15 seconds and remove any wrinkles and moisture. Place the design on the t-shirt, fold it in half to find the center. Place the design in the desired position with the clean liner on top. Align the centers. Place a clean piece of butcher paper on top. Press it for 40 seconds using light pressure. When working with infusible ink, the entire design needs to be covered by the easy press. Contrary to iron on, you cannot work in sections. Keep the stack as still as possible while pressing. Remember, when using infusible ink, the design becomes part of the t-shirt. Remove the butcher paper and let it cool a little. When the design is still warm, remove the backing. Remove the cardstock. Transfer inks never flake, peel, crack or wrinkle. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you make this t-shirt, don't forget to share a picture on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. I love to see it. If you are interested in any of these Cricut machines, I'm going to share the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.